Now, this reel that you see is the Doyo Liger 30 in BFS spec. And out of my 30 plus BFS reels, it's one of my absolute favorites. Now, is that because it's got the best performance? No, there are reels out there that can cast better. Now, is it because it has a class leading spec sheet? No, in fact, in my opinion, this Liger 30 BFS spec has on paper numbers that are more in line with the previous generation of Bay Finesse reels, not the current generation state-of-the-art reels like the 22 Aldebaran BFS and the upcoming Daiwa SS Air. So you're probably wondering, why do I like this reel so much? Well, besides its great looks, this reel comes with centrifugal brakes. Now that alone makes it extremely rare in the Bay Finesse world. And these brakes allow it to keep up with the latest and greatest BFS reels that are sporting much lighter spools and fancy dynamic magnetic braking. But another big reason why I like it so much is the exclusivity of this reel. Now, when I got the reel over a year ago, it was impossible to buy unless you lived in South Korea or you knew someone who lived in South Korea who would ship it to you. Now, luckily for me, a friend of the channel lives there and sent me one. Now, I have fished this reel a lot since I've gotten it, and it was one of the two reels I used in the BFS Invades Colorado videos. But I've never really featured this reel in a standalone video review because I didn't see the point of doing that when nobody could buy the reel. But thanks to Luz, that has all changed. Now Luz has brought over the Doyo Liger 30 BFS spec to America, made a couple changes and released it recently as the Custom Light Shallow Spool or Custom Light SS. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out Luz's promotional video and we're gonna see this reel in action. All right. All right, so check out the reel right there. And right there. Okay, I'm not gonna do much talking, just gonna let you guys watch. But one thing that's obvious is that they are definitely designating this reel as a bass reel. And if you notice there, let's back up. This guy was using the reel for a drop shot and a pretty big drop shot in my opinion. All right, let's back up here. And you can definitely see that it's got a pretty shallow spool. It's got that uh, line indicator dial. There was a pretty big bass. All 
All right, custom light SS. So now we're over at Lou's website. And before we get to, I guess, the meat and potatoes of this reel, I just want to say to Lou's, who I know is watching this video, if you are trying to target the bait finesse community with this reel, shoot me an email. It's at the beginning of this video and offer to send me one so I can show the BFS community what this reel can really do because if it performs just like my Liger 30, then it's gonna be way more versatile than just for bass fishing. And you're definitely gonna to need to showcase that with what you're charging for this reel. All right, so let us begin. All right, so here it is on the front page of Lou's website. It's a nice picture of the reel. And I guess we're gonna click shop now. And it says out of stock. But on top of warehouse, it does show plenty of them in stock. But let's check out the pictures. Okay, there's from the top front. So as you can see, this is a very good looking reel. A nice asymmetrical design that's pleasing to the eye. And here's the Liger 30. Now, obviously there are some differences between this and the Custom Light SS. One being the color of the spool and also the porting is a little bit different on the Liger 30. And then the line indicator dial on the Liger. If I can pull up a picture, well, it doesn't look like I can, but trust me, it doesn't have that orange in the center like the lose does lose has that little splash of color but other than that everything else looks to be the same which is a good thing in my book they have the metal drag star that has been ported out carbon fiber handle and lose has stuck with the i guess bigger eva foam knobs all right so let's read this Custom light SS baitcast reel, equipping finesse anglers with ultimate baitcasting distance and control. Luz is pleased to introduce the custom light shallow spool baitcast reel, built for baitcast enthusiasts who rely on finesse crankbaits, small topwaters, and lightweight soft plastics to get the job done. The custom light is built with a premium quiet cast adjustable centrifugal braking system and Luz innovative free spool rotation design to deliver an exceptionally long and accurate cast with finesse size baits. So the great news is the Luz is keeping the externally adjustable centrifugal brakes and not resorting to, you know, a generic MagTrack style system, but it's saying that it's got the innovative free spool rotation design. So it might be that they're using a short spool shaft on this uh, custom light SS. I think we've watched the video already. Let's go over the features. Ultimate casting distance. Cast the lightest baits further with accuracy and ease. Effortlessly adjust, lose, quiet cast, adjustable centrifugal brake system with an external dial for ultimate cast control. The ultra shallow 30 millimeter spool design requires less inertia to spin when casting light weights, helping you put the finesse baits exactly where you want. Now, a lot of you guys may look at this reel and think this is just the, I guess what, the Pro SP skipping reel with just some holes drilled into the spool. And that's actually incorrect. There are about three major differences between this reel and the Pro SP. And I'm gonna go over them with you guys as we run into them. And the first change is that the Custom Light SS has a smaller spool that's shallower as well. So it's a 30 millimeter spool while the Pro SP had a 32 millimeter spool. And I have the Pro SP and I can tell you that the spool on that reel is shallower, but it looks to be almost twice as deep as the Custom Light SS. In fact, let's try to pull one up 
on Tackle Warehouse. I know they look really similar because of the orange spool, but hopefully you guys can see this angle. The spool on the Pro SP is noticeably deeper. And I've weighed the spool on the Pro SP. It's about 10 grams without its bearing. Now the spool on my Liger 30 BFS spec is about 7.1, 7.2 grams or something like that. So I'm assuming this custom light SS spool is probably gonna be at least that light, maybe even lighter. Okay, so let's keep going. Premium craftsmanship. Experience unmatched quality with aluminum alloy speed gears with a P2 super pinion, C45 carbon side plate, and 11 stainless steel double shielded ball bearings. Lose legendary performance at the lightest weight. The innovative speed knot allows for quick line tying and hides the knot at the base of the spool for smooth line delivery. So yeah, that's what this little groove is right here is to hide the knot, which can be helpful when using such a shallow spool where you can easily cast most of the line off. So that's what that little groove is for. Very similar to uh, the grooves in the 22 Aldebaran BFS. All right, so moving right along. It says built for finesse applications. Custom light shallow spool is specifically crafted to effortlessly place small crankbaits, finesse swim baits and light soft plastics with ease. Maintaining the power and control of a bait casting reel with smaller baits to attract fish that won't eat a heavy bulky bait. That perfectly describes finesse right there. Now perfect for drop shotting over deep ledges, Ned rigging across rocky flats and accurately casting the lightest poppers and wacky rigs around shallow vegetation. Rock solid reliability anglers who hit the water with custom light shallow spool, bait cast reel fish with confidence that their gear is backed by warranty and supported by the dedicated customer service team at Luz. And I can attest that Luz probably has the best customer service team uh, in the world. And they literally go beyond what customer service is expected to do, at least in my opinion for a lot of their customers. All right, it says lightweight frame, feel the slightest vibration of micro crankbaits and detect the softest bites from finicky fish with the Luz Super Light Tanzotech one piece frame and dual lumen spool, a featherweight frame that is an absolute must for finesse performance. So there's another big difference right there from this reel and that Pro SP. Now the Pro SP, uses the same frame as the custom light, but its frame is made of aluminum. So it's actually about one ounce heavier than this custom light SS, which I think comes in at like 4.9 or five ounces. All right, specifications, of course, right and left hand, bearing count, typical lose gear ratio 7.5 to one, 28 inches per turn, hmm. 54 yards of eight pound mono, which is the standard for bait finesse, 64 yards of eight pound braid. They say it weighs five ounces. Now look at this, 20 pounds of max drag. We'll get to that in a second, but carbon gray, 95 millimeter carbon handle, which is a little bit long for bait finesse, but that's all right. But 20 pounds of max drag. Now, of course, 20 pounds max drag is great to have, but if you're running eight pound line or even lighter, you know, what good is this 20 pounds gonna do? Now, hopefully they've tuned it to where the startup is extremely easy and smooth. That's more important than outright stopping power. All right, so now let's go over to Tackle Warehouse. All right, so right here, here's some more pictures. So it looks like it's got the same color as the standard custom light. It's got this dark charcoal gray with components that are like a bronzish root beer. It 
check out that shallow spool. Now it does not look quite as ported as the Liger 30, as you can see here, but hopefully it'll be just as light or lighter. Now once again, I have the Pro SP as well as having casted and fished the regular Liger 30 non-BFS spec and this frame is extremely comfortable to palm. One of the most comfortable palming platforms out there. Now let's see if Tackle Warehouse gives us any more information. Looking for one thing in particular. Yes, yeah, so I don't see anything on Tackle Warehouse or Lou's website about this real having a drag clicker, which is, you know, really not important in the grand scheme of things, but a lot of people are wanting drag clickers in their bait finesse reels, especially at the price that Lou's is charging for this reel, which obviously you guys can see they're one $300. Now the Doyo Liger 30 BFS spec cost me around the same amount of money importing it from Korea. And do I regret as a bait finesse enthusiast buying that Liger 30 BFS spec? Now for me personally, since I'm a bait finesse junkie, the answer is no. I love the reel and I was actually thinking of uh, contacting Chris who sent it to me to see if he still lives there, to see if he could send me another one. So $300 to me for this reel is worth it. Now, of course, I'm different than you, and you may look at $300 for, you know, a loose fancy graphite frame reel with no drag clicker and think, you know, I'm not paying that. Especially when, you know, we have the Shimano Corrado BFS that is $90 cheaper. It's got an aluminum frame and it is heavier, but it palms just as good and it is proven. It's a proven BFS reel with state-of-the-art technologies at a much cheaper price. Then, of course, we have Cast King, who still is selling the Zephyr for only $70 or $75 with a drag clicker. And of course, they have their Kestrel Elite which is $80 cheaper, a little bit lighter, and has a much lighter spool. And of course I have this reel. I personally think that it's a great reel, but it's only $220 for a magnesium frame. So whether you think this new custom light SS is worth $300, that's up to you. I don't know if I'm gonna buy one or not. Hopefully Lose will contact me and offer to send me one so I can show the bait finesse world what this reel is really capable of. All right guys, so let me know in the comment section what do you think of this custom light? Do you think it's too much money for a Luz bait finesse reel? I am glad Luz is getting into bait finesse, but uh, they should have uh, consulted some experienced bait finesse anglers before they came over with this reel in my opinion, because while I might pay $300 for one of these reels, I don't know if the majority of American BFS anchors will, especially considering, you know, you can pick up the Aldebaran BFS for less money. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.